What's up guys, it's Jay, more than half a kill, and I'm back here on Borderlands 2, and it's another episode of my Legendary Weapon and Item Guide. In this series, we take a look at the Legendary Weapons, what they do, and who drops them. And today we're taking a look at the Vladoff Assault Rifle, the Shredifier. The Shredifier actually has no confirmed loot source drop other than the Seraph Guardians, Hyperius, Pyro Pete, and Master G. I've actually seen it drop off of Pyro Pete and Hyperius, so I can confirm 100% that they do drop. I wasn't recording at the time, however, but this gun has one of the highest fire rates in the game, and that's what this gun does best. It is a damage per second monster. Now the red text says speed kills, and that means that this gun takes half the time to get up to its highest fire rate than a normal spinny gun, and it also lasts longer, so you can reload and still have your high fire rate, which makes this gun not only fun to use, but actually useful as well. So like I said before, this gun is called the Shred of Fire, and that is exactly what it does. Damage per second is king in Borderlands 2 right now. The faster your fire rate, the faster you can put down enemies, and since this has an extended clip on it, you can fire this into large groups of really powerful, even armored enemies such as Anchorman, and sustain fire long enough to get them before they even get anywhere near close to killing you or getting you with their goddamn harpoons. <laughs> so even though this is a minigun with an accuracy about 80%, and one of the highest fire rates in the game, it is still actually pretty viable for a long range weapon. Now you're not going to go ahead and get the precision of a sniper rifle, but if you blast a few bullets that way, you will hit something and it's going to hit pretty fucking hard. So this gun is actually pretty useful by any tune in the game. A Gunzerker is probably going to have a really fun time with this, but my favorite way to use this gun is to use it on a Mecromancer that's stacked with Anarchy and a B-Shield. And you can pretty much just sit at the corner of a room, fire in there, and if you're using close enough, 50% of your bullets are going to hit, and they're going to hit really hard. So it's just a fun way to just clear a room, have a little bit of fun, and screw around and get into areas. It's actually really good for chest farming too, because you'll usually get your ammo back before you're done doing a chest run. But this gun can consume a lot of ammo and it will bleed you dry especially on true vault hunter mode so if you are going to use it with a mecromancer stacked anarchy you better be making farming or chest runs or you're gonna go broke real fast filling this gun up with bullets so my name is jay more than after kill make sure you guys rate comment subscribe i want to thank you guys for watching if you could throw a thumbs up on the video i would appreciate it very much and i'm gonna see you guys later